Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Supercars of London and my wonderful and amazing Lamborghini LP560-4 Vicolori edition. Now over YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you guys want to see a bit of an in-depth tour into the Lamborghini that is currently sitting behind me. My second supercar and it's still unbelievable and surreal the fact that I am saying that. But today I have found a relatively quiet place and unfortunately the old people's home where I took my R8 a lot is being renovated and I can't go there anymore and it is definitely not as quiet as it used to be. So the paint code on the Lamborghini Gallardo is one of two. It could be Bianco Isis or it could be Bianco Monocerus. Can you see that? And by the looks of it, this is on the Hurricane and the Gallardo, and the Isis one is on the Aventador. Ah, look, there is a picture of a Bicolori. So this is Bianco Monocerus. <laughs> Welcome to the least technical YouTube automotive channel. <laughs> I don't even know the paint code of my own car, but it has got the gloss black roof and it sweeps all the way down to the back, which is unique to the Bicolori Special Edition. And why is it called the Bicolori? Well, I can translate that into English. It means two colours, black and a colour. In this case, it is white. You can also get yellow, orange, blue, and gray, and white. So there's five colors that the Bicolori Special Edition comes in, and there's only 250 in the world. And at the time of production, 160 of them were in white, which is very typical Lamborghini because white was a very popular color. Absolutely love the exterior of this car. It has got the Mark I Superleggera wheels, which unfortunately you can't really see because the sun is up there. So I'm gonna come around here and show you this side of the wheels. They're a little bit dirty, but personally, I think they are my favorite bit on the car, other than the V10 Lamborghini engine. But as you sweep across, you can see that it is very two-tone colors. There's only black and white on this car with a little bit of chrome there. Um, the black brake calipers are black as well. And you've got the LP560-4 badge there. The LP stands for the longitudinal position of the way that the engine faces in this car. Now that is a bit of research that I have done since the LP640. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think there is obviously the Italian abbreviation of the LP, but I'm pretty sure it's the longitudinal position of the engine. The 560 comes from the 560 brake horsepower that this 5.2 litre V10 produces and the Dash 4 is probably the most important part of the car. It means that it is four wheel drive. If you see an LP560-2, that means the guy is an absolute maniac and is driving a rear wheel drive Gallardo. There's also the LP550-2, which is the Balboni, and you can also get non-Balboni LP550-2s. So when this car was created, it was a kind of like a successor to the Gallardo SE, which was a Mark I Lamborghini Gallardo, which looked phenomenal, five litre engine, and had the black roof and had two tone interior. And that also came in gray, yellow, orange, and white. So this is the key, which has stayed the same design pretty much throughout the whole Gallardo life range or product range or I don't know. So you go down here and this is the lever that you need. Oh, what's this on the leather? That needs a wash. So that is how you open the front boot. It's just to the left. And this is the boot space. As you can see, a number plate does not fit into the bottom of it. To give you an example, that is my hand. It's not the biggest boot space, I will give it that, but it is quite deep in terms of you can probably get up to my knee, up to my knee. Does that make sense? This, I feel like I'm doing an un unboxing video now for the Lamborghini. Um, what is that? 
air compressor for the tires, tire pump thing. It just sits on Velcro, and then what is this? This looks a funny shape. What? What are these? I've got a pair of Lamborghini driving gloves. These can't be driving gloves, surely. So, for the rest of the tour, you just have to click that back in. I've decided to wear these absolutely hilarious gloves. And I feel like I'm Michael Jackson now. Um, so that is the front boot space. Oh yes. So here we go. This is the 5.2 litre Oilio. Assume that means oil. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The 5.2 of the Lamborghini. I'll shut this back down now. We now move on to the interior. And this was one of the main reasons that I bought this specific car because the interior is spotless. This car has done nine and a half thousand miles. It's basically brand new. The smell of leather is like new. It is amazing. And as you get to come in, you see the Bicolore Series Speciale, and then you come into the interior of the Lamborghini. So it's black leather with white stitching to match the exterior of the car, of course. You've got the reverse button here, which puts the car into reverse when you're in neutral. I'm not sure whether it does that when you're in first gear and you can put it into neutral, but these are the little air conditioning vents. I'm gonna put you level with my bottom. That is how low you are to the ground. To prove that I'm not lying, there you go. So when you're sitting in the cockpit of the Lamborghini, you've got all of these air vents here that you can maneuver around to um, get the direction of wind that you want. Up here, you've got the oil pressure. You've got the temperature of the oil, which is very important. Do not drive your car hard until the temperature of the oil is the right temperature. I've also got battery and volts as well, which I don't really need to worry about too much, I don't think. I have no idea. Um, this is, oh, where is it? There. Oh, I don't know what that is. Water temperature, I reckon. Maybe aqua means water temperature. You've got the rev range and the speedometer there. You've got all of the buttons that could potentially light up across the top here. You might be able to see them briefly. And we've also got the fuel tank. So my video camera just cut out, but I was just talking about this button here, which is the nose lift, a very, very important button. And as you get up here, you get confused for a fighter jet. We've got the sat nav here, which I really do not touch at all. Most of the time I don't even have the music on, but I've got radio, media for, I assume that's uh, memory cards, but I haven't worked out where you put memory, memory cards yet. This is the telephone, this is the navigation, and this is just the general car setup and settings. Here, both ends here, you've got the, wing, the windows. Fuel cap, which I have no idea how to work, but Sam does. Traction off which is um, death mode, hazard lights, and these two here are your lights that work the front of the car at night time. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope it's been half informative, I, I suppose, because obviously I'm not very good at stats, but at the same time, I wanna show you the inside and the outside of the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 Bicolori. So give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another video, but right now I'm gonna take this for a quick blast. A 48 GTB, uh, a LaFerrari, an Enzo, the 509 GTO. We're going to have a look at them. F40, F50. F yeah, but they're too old. Sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 here it is.
This is the room to be in. Are they racing these cars? <laughs>